I have some roaches here that I need to get rid of. Oh, she almost escaped. Just so we know, you will be first. It is about sending the message. Fan mail. It is from Kevin. If you remember, he is a kid that sent me a letter how he is making an enclosure for Daddy Long Legs. And now he's writing that his enclosure was successful and that he also got a tarantula. And from what I can see, it's Acanthus squid again colada. Thanks, Kevin, for the letter. And of course, I can sign it and send it back. Oh, there is also more. Oh, he also sent me five euros for the post. For the post office. <laughs> Thanks. Together with another envelope with his address and name, he is asking if I can sign the letter and send him back. So of course that I will do that. And the other one, look at that. And also another envelope with address. It is from Trevor from US, and he's also asking if I can sign this picture and send it back to him. <laughs> sure, Trevor, I will sign it and send you back. No problem. Okay. Let's assist these hungry tarantulas now. We will start with Linda. Although she is, check it out, she is kind of fat. Look at her. You see, really fat. I mean curvy. She is curvy, not fat, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. So I will give her a small roach. Is that all right? <laughs> One small roach coming up. Should I throw it on the far side? Yeah, like that. Like that. Linda is vicious. She doesn't joke around. It would be so awesome when she, when she grows. Can you hurry up a bit? But she is growing really fast anyway. I believe the fastest, the fastest when you compare it to all other tarantulas that I have in the collection. I mean in our collection, right? Now this, this is a mature male if you remember. Ciriopagopus siete. He ate without the problem last time. So I hope he will do it again. Not sure if I will be able to do that here on the video because he is inside of his hole. You can see his booty. Maybe I should throw it there so he turns around. Hopefully. Tweezers? I had them right here. Come on. I had them for sure. Apparently not. <laughs> I will feed it uh, adult male lateralis, but I will press it a bit so he doesn't run away too fast. Oh, we didn't saw too much. Oh, but maybe he comes out. Will you come out for us? That would be awesome. I guess not. You will just be looking at the ball of feet. <laughs> yeah, definitely ball of feet. Let's give him a moment. Maybe he moves a bit. And while we are waiting, you notice I'm feeding the, all the CD enclosures. I mean, I'm not feeding CD enclosures. I'm feeding the tarantulas inside of CD enclosures. And then maybe we take something else, but we will feed all of them. No, he's not moving. Let's carry on the business. Ramostola rosea. Not sure if I said the Linda's scientific name. It's Terraposa stirmi. And this is Gramostola rosea. It is unfortunately male, but maybe I get a female, so we will have some sexy action. And he is a good eater. When he was sling, he wasn't really good eater, but as he's getting older, he's getting better and better. I easily feature him in feeding videos. Usually he will always eat. That's a good boy. Next week, I believe it's next week. Another Terrapolaza Expo is coming and I will be searching for Brahipelmas and Gramostolas to expand my Gramostola Brahipelma collection. That is rather small at the moment, but I'm hoping to find few, at least two new species that I don't have. Adult females. I will only be searching for adult females. So if any one of you is coming to Terra Plaza and maybe got some, some Brahipelma or Gramostola for sale, mature female, send me a message and we will arrange something. Lampropelma viola ceopes, female. Not sure if you remember, but she made a, a how is it called, a phantom egg sac. I never parried her, but she made an egg sac, so even though she appears kind of small, she's actually mature. Where are you going? 
Hmm. Make up your map. No. All right, all right. <sighs> Woo! That was fast, fast and furious. That was awesome. That was awesome reaction. And happy dance. Look at the colors on her abdomen. It's crazy. She definitely needs a bigger enclosure. And I ordered a bunch of glass for new enclosures. If I remember correctly, I ordered glass for five of these, two of these or three maybe, then another two or three smaller arboreal enclosures and also four smaller terrestrial enclosures. I'm experimenting with different sizes and also I definitely need a bunch of new enclosures for new space. Next one, this is a... how is it called? Nandu... Tripepi. Nandu Tripepi. And it should be a male also if you noticed his abdomen is really, really big. So only small roach for you, buddy. No? <laughs> Will you take it or not? What is up? <laughs> I think he was like, mm, that's really small, but also, whoa, his abdomen looks really dark, look at that. Yeah, you can definitely see how it is black under that, it wasn't like that. Some tarantulas will also eat when they are in a pre-mold, I mean when they have black abdomen, like Hantoscuria geniculata and Nandu species, they're all really feisty, so sometimes they will do that. We will see if he will molt, but I bet you, oh <laughs> sorry. Sorry, guy. I bet you he will. Really soon. I think you saw the feet, so you know who is that. But I don't know. Even though she is OBT, the Pterinohelus murinus, really vicious tarantula, defensive and all of that. She's really bad eater, at least from my experience. I will put a roach, but don't expect much. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Got him. <laughs> Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, 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 no. I was convinced that this camera was focused right, but as you can see, it focused on this part and not on the actual enclosure. But I believe you will see something from this angle. We'll see once I edit the video. Another Nandu species, also a fat one, pardon, curved one. This is a female. And on this channel, we respect women, no matter if they are slim, skinny, or curved. Yeah, wishes eater. And I also have another female here, or now I'm not certain if this is a female. I know that this is, but did I also actually sex this one? Don't remember. Will you dance for us a bit? Just a little bit. So, as I was saying, here is another Nandu, Nandu Hromatus. I made a molting video recently, the Wednesday update, and it was this girl, but she's inside. Now let's see, did I said Nandu Hromatus? I don't know, my thoughts are all over the place. She molted and she still didn't eat, so I hope that she will be feisty. I messed this up, but yeah, she took it. You can see the leg, not anymore. Maybe she comes out. Come on, it is crowded inside. You can't really eat, right? I will bring this up and hopefully she will come outside. Nothing? Sorry. Let's feed this nice guy. It is a Brachypelma Hamori, male, ex Brachypelma smithy. I should definitely get an adult female because in Molt or two, he will probably be adult also. I knew it. Roach went inside the hide. 
I will throw another one and then I will try to get that one outside. Please react now. Are you kidding me? Mr. Brahipelma Amori, what is up with you? Third time the, the charm. <laughs> I was just about to say. So now how to get those roach outside without disturbing him too much. And now the second. This is definitely a lot of disturbing. <laughs> Got him. Okay. What will we feed next? I saw in few videos that people are requesting to feed the uh, Lampropelma viola Ceopes and they are getting really big. I need to transfer them. One is male, one is female and for one I don't know the gender. I mean sex. Is it better to say sex or gender? Huh. Well of course. A lot of my videos that I upload got demonetized and I never know what's the case. You know, the YouTube got the algorithm that is scanning entire video and tries to determine if that video is suitable for advertisement or not. And when I upload, a lot of videos are flagged. And now it got me thinking in a lot of my videos, I mentioned sex. I mentioned it in this way, but the algorithm really can't know that, right? Hmm, that could easily be the case. Maybe I should start saying gender now instead of sex. This would be a test. If this video gets demonetized, it has to be because of sex. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if this is the one that it is male or a female. Yeah, I thought so. But there, you can see it down there. Maybe I could get a better clip from other one. Come on. And they are often passive like this. They won't come out, but as soon as Roach approaches them, then they strike. Really annoying. This is why I don't usually feature them in videos. Even though I have a lot of tarantulas, not all of them are suitable for recording. This is one of the reasons. Now this will be the last one, and I hope it will be a good clip. Looks like she is not hungry. In case you didn't figure it out by now. You see? Idiotella Mira and she made a trapdoor and I was hoping she will eat but apparently she is not hungry. This is so cool that she actually made a trapdoor but I haven't really seen it in action. Still waiting on that. Anyhow, this was the feeding video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday and Wednesday. So see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>